So really blessed, the Padre Pio Foundation reached out to our diocese and said that they want to put relics uh, in five places in this country, in our country, and one would be on the East Coast, West Coast, South, North, and we're right in the middle. And uh, so they, they wanted to put this first class relic. It's a bandage with blood on the bandage too, as well, it's a first class relic. And it's really a special, and you know what's ironic is that we're placing it right now under the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And here we are right in the center of the country, which is really, uh, when you think of the five wounds, the wounds of Jesus, the, the heart, the spirit, the spirit thrust his heart, and outflow of blood and water in the sacraments, baptism, the Eucharist. The center means the heart. The heart means also the central wounds of Jesus. It's, it's a way for us to express that through the Dutch of Salana, through Belot, Belot Kansas, we would like really this to be a beacon of hope and peace spread, love spread in the name of St. Pio to all the other states and eventually all the United States of America. I think it's really going to the heart of what we're all called to do is uh, reaching the heart of Je Jesus' heart and Padre Pio has really lived the heart of Jesus in his life so beautifully. I hope people come and uh, encounter just really the heart of St. Padre Pio, right? I mean, there's more than just a relic here. I mean, when you, when you venerate a relic, you're actually you know, learning more about the saint and what he, what he did in life. And I would say that Padre Pio gave so many people hope and healing. The chapels means to recreate a spotlight, like uh, um, a shrine, uh, the, the closest one to the faithful, instead of flying over, over country from a part to another, we really wish for them to choose the one that is closer to them. And be becoming the first chapel here in Salina, the center of the United States of America, is the most important for us.